Hello, Mortio. Welcome, we're about to play a horror game here. Oh, she's on the screen. Just so you know, it's fur on the floor. We just have to vacuum that and it's good as new. It's Luna's fur. It's not poo or dirt. It's just fur. Okay, so... So we're good. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's, let's play the game. We'll move me up a little here. Get some more space going. And then, we'll click new game. Autosave and checkpoints. This icon indicates your progress is being saved. Your progress will autosave at key moments. Hey, Nedris Denny. Nedris Deny. Thanks for subbing, man. Novix. Welcome back as well. Thanks for the two months. God, my hangover is still affecting me a little bit. And that was two days ago that we drank. Earlier I was peeing and I was like, ooh, let's go get a beer. I was like, oh, no. You know, that alcohol, not wanting alcohol is still in me. Even though my brain would love to chill with a beer right now, my body immediately was like, no, Tio, don't do that. So I got a Fanta. <laughs> Yoink! This is a place between places. Here, there can only be sadness, be only sadness and resolution. This is where the lost are found and vengeance rears its ugly head. Vengeful souls are born of violent Yoink. death. Necronomicon Abaddon, Volume 3. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Hi baby, I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. What? She's so chill about her ticket. End of message. To delete this message, What happened here? Oh, we're not going to stop and help? Okay. What the hell? Alright, we're home. <laughs> Find the plane tickets! Oh, dude. Smooth. Check on the gameplay in the new tutorial unlocked. What? Find and examine items of interest to unlock memories. If you're stuck, Sarah's journal can sometimes help. She's stuck at boarding gate and can't find them. Search the house to find the tickets. Man, she's so chill about not having her plane tickets with her. Okay, chat. I can. I. I may have to. Is it? Uh, is it screen tearing? If so, I have to just uh, turn on uh, Reva Tuner and limit the FPS so that it doesn't do that. Are we good? It's not screen tearing. A bit. Pretty good. It's all good. All good. It's fine. Yeah, it's tearing. Loads of tearing. Slight screen tearing, but it's not that bad. Uh, hold on. It takes me two seconds. It might depend on your screen. Sometimes you don't actually have screen. T it, like, I've asked before, but like, the screen tear. And I was like, no. Maybe a couple of yeses. And then I watch after, and there's loads of screen tearing. Uh, 144. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. I won't play around with it. I'm hoping it's. Uh, The Elgato 4K that I have uh, takes 144 hertz, takes it through and stuff, so 
up to 144 frames it handles. And the way that it's set up, if it goes to like, let's say 200 frames, you start getting screen tearing on, on screen, on stream, sorry. What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> so if you have games that have, like sometimes you'll play a game, it's like 250 FPS, because it's quite a basic game, then you get a lot of screen tearing. Damn, it's windy. Can I go check on the police? Oh, I can zoom. Damn, is it just me or am I quite slow? Can you not run? Nobody walks this slow. Hold up. What motherfucker gets home and then just doesn't have keys on him? What is this? <laughs> All right, let's go outside. Who parks in the garage and then goes around through the outside? They have doors leading straight in. What? Why am I robbing the place? What? All right, I'm in. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a lot of people now mention screen tearing. Is it bad? <clears throat> Mr. Gary Ryan Pout. For Heidi, never give up on your dreams. Handbook com com compliments the tabletop game good versus evil. First, you need to create your character. This involves assigning it a class. Right. Genuinely. Before we keep going, it's nice to know. Some people are saying it's really bad. Mods, do you guys see uh, screen tearing when I move around like this? It'll be noticeable when I move around like this. can really do at this point is uh, turn on v-sync 
<laughs> Wait, there's no way that's how easy. Nothing happens. I'm not gonna, it's too late for me to start looking into how to turn it off completely. I'm sure it's wa watchable. Let me know if it's worse now. I really just mess up the house. Right, so we're looking for the plane tickets. Honestly, plane tickets is something you put in the kitchen, in like a drawer. It's either that or it's gonna be in like, maybe the bedroom. That's creepy. In the kitchen, no? Yeah, for me, like, you put- you have like a drawer for important stuff in the kitchen. Seems fixed by VSync. Ah, good to know. I don't have to stress about it then. Here, like, this is where I would put important shit. Huh? Please join us for a baby shower. We're delighted to extend this offer of employment for the position of security guard with all seeing eye security. Your title will be junior security officer. Okay, cool. Company will pay you a starting salary at the rate of $6,000 per year. $6,000 per year. 500 bucks a month? What's he doing? Your title will be. This is a full time position. This guy's living in a house? What year is this? Ah! 1981, guys. 1981. Where it's not now. We're good. Let's, uh, let's explore. This game is not a horror game, just a wi wife simulator. I like that. That's a real close-up of someone. I mean, that's just like... Pudding. <laughs> like, it's so close <laughs> that it's just like, it's uncomfortably close. Let's take a photo and they just shove the photo, the camera right up to the face. <laughs> Hello? What? What was that? Oh, dude, I can look at these. That's a big box. New memory. What is it? Wow, nice wrapping skills. Oh my god, a puppy. I can't believe you did this. I love they wrap? her. I'm gonna call you Sally. Oh, they wrap the box, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's time for your gift. Low job. Look how clever our little girl is. I'm I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. She takes after her daddy. Terrible drawing. about this mediocre family. I really love guns. <laughs> what a quote. Public access. A welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. 
Have you ever come home from a work and found yourself stuck to what to have for dinner? Today, I've been asked to cook with ingredients you found around the house. No pancetta, okay? <laughs> Let's see what we have here. We have uh, minced meat, we have tomato sauce, uh, we have mushrooms, uh, we got the bread too, and a packet of pre-made pasta. Well, uh, that's exciting. <laughs> oh, look here, almost forgot the garlic. Okay. Today, we're going to make some kind of rolled meat, uh, a meat log, if you will. <laughs> Is this a developer? Let's start the cooking off of the meat. Lightly oil the pan. And set to your Are we sure this is a hard game? Heat. Now, uh, with the meat, uh, you throw it in, slap it in here. How long do you think they, it, it goes for? If you like, you can add some salt and the spices. But they gave me a nothing. I'm a surprise they even gave me a saucepan. You know what? Something. I'm not cooking with this packet of pasta. It can go straight in the I bin. something. This meat's looking good right now. A timer for the sugo. That looks like shit, dude. You got a bunch of raw. You got to keep cooking the meat. It's not even done. And there's some fungus. Fungus? <laughs> Stir this around and let it simmer. Now, let's see. Ah, that's right. Uh, while it simmers, we got to prepare our bread. What kind of what bread is that, dude? Is a nice pocket. Ah. And now where we put the, the meat inside. Oh, ma tu guarda, I forgot the garlic. Oh well, you get the idea. Okay, let's assemble this masterpiece of culinary delight. Here we have it, a meat roll. Eat the roll. I know eat the roll. You eat the roll. Public access. Please tell me cook something else. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. Have you ever come home from a work and found yourself stuck to what to have for dinner? Today, I've been asked to cook with ingredients you found around the house. No pancetta, okay? God, this is such a different vibe. What? Three forty five. What? In the, in the, is it in the middle of the night? Friday, June 4th, 4.15 p.m. Now, uh, with the meat, oh, uh, it's you Mike here. Throw it in, I it got in. a message earlier asking about changing the code to your security door. All you need to do is enter the code, 
you see you like her, you can let us insult and despise it. But the they gave me a nothing. If you have any problem, call me during time. business hours and I'll be happy to walk you through it. Business Thanks. card. You know what? Uh, I'm not uh, cooking with this uh, pasta. It can go straight in. Okay, yeah, let's find it. <laughs> this uh, meat is looking uh, good right now. Can you believe it, Gary? It's not just the two of us anymore. Time Our for family's the tool, growing. The two of our labor My heart is worth it. Look, Sarah. Love and there's some fungus. Dude, the second time that I guy's creeping me up. So happy, honey. Okay, so she makes art. Okay. Art exhibitions. The inheritance process has been successfully completed, and the will of Roseanne Adage is now ready to put it be put into action. According to the will, I'm sure. Fifty thousand dollars. Back then as well. Whoo! They're rich. And now where we put the meat inside. <laughs> oh, Matuarda. Now I swear that there was a business card here. Plumbing, that's not it. Dog grooming. Hmm, no. It's nineteen ninety nine, not nineteen eighty one. Then the <laughs> Then why? Okay. Oh, yeah, the calendar says 99, doesn't it? <laughs> Dude, if you watch just that part, someone would be like, what the fuck is this guy playing? Is it my dog? Massimo? Oh my god, baby. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. I love you, Gary. Why is the ring here? Here we go, Mike. O five sixteen, chat. Uh, I feel like I'm not Gary. Who am I? This is just a husband simulator, dude. <laughs> we have two minutes until she calls and yells at me for not having found the uh, the ticket. Am I Mike? Did she say Gary? Fuck, we have to remember everything. Oh my god, baby, it's perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. I love you, Gary. I love you, Gary. Look how clever our little girl is. Can you believe it, Gary? It's not just the two. You're my heart and soul. Love, Sarah. No, Mike is a security guard, yeah. Who said you're Mike? <laughs> Mike's a security guard, I knew that. Just, I'm, I'm just not very good with names. You know, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm, not, 
I'm not scared at all right now. Like I don't be afraid. I'm only going out for two hours. If Maggie can't sleep, just read her this book. It works every time. I'll be home before you know it. Dinner's in the oven. Love you. Poppy was the happiest unicorn in the world, but she had no unicorn friends. She felt different. Birds have beaks and sing songs that go cheep. Cows have horns and say moo. Mice are tiny, very quick and small. Sheep are fluffy, all covered in wool. Rabbits have big ears and bounce boing. Pigs are pink and have a snout. Skunks are black and white and can't take flight. But everyone is different. Let's all be friends. Today, I've been asked to cook with ingredients you found around the You know, there's something right now that makes this not feel scary at all. There's just a there's just a little thing right now that really does. Let's see what we have here. We have the minced meat. We have tomato sauce. One little detail in the game right now. Mushrooms. Oh, the star is going at it! And a packet of pre-made pasta. Well, that's exciting. Oh, look here. Almost forgot the garlic. Okay. Today we're gonna make some kind of roast <laughs> meat. Uh, meat. You hiding in here? <laughs> Let's start the cooking off of the meat. Lightly oil the pan and set to your stove to medium heat. Now, uh, <laughs> you throw it in, clap it in here. Maggie, is that you? If you like, you can add some salt and the spices. But they gave me a nothing. I'm surprised they even gave me a sauce. For the... You know what? I'm not cooking with this packet of pasta. Massimo? Do we get Massimo up here, honey? The X Files, season one. And there's some fungus. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I can turn on in here. Are we sure this is a horror game, man? Now, let's see. Ah, that's right. Uh, while it simmers, we gotta prepare our bread. What do we want? Is a nice pocket. What was the code? Do you think they have it here? 0516? Uh, and now where we put the meat inside. Very nice. Oh, Matuasa. I forgot to the garlic. Oh well, you get the idea. Okay, let's assemble this masterpiece of culinary delight. The fuck? Maggie. Fucked up. Got the ticket! Oh, Sarah. Who's Maggie? Is that the name of the certificate? Maggie Pout. Oh, that's the daughter. Oh, so Maggie the daughter is the artist. What is- Massimo, I need you! Hang on, what, what are you doing? What's with the mask? <laughs> Sarah! Oh. 
Massimo's better still be on out there. Quick, print. Massimo? Massimo! Feel the light. Massimo, please! What was the code? 0516? Movement? This is the worst flashlight! What the hell is this? Cannot see a thing. Yeah, they're forcing me in here. I actually cannot see anything. We're leaving. Well, that's just Sarah, isn't it? We're good. We killed her. That's the car we saw crashed when we arrived. Unstuck the gate, you will be just the two of us in here. See you soon. Find a way to vanquish the spirit. It's a crime scene now. Was this here before? I swear those numbers weren't here. Huh? Oh shit! What happened to Maggie? Wow. Dude, that is creepy. <laughs> Yoink! This is a puzzle? <laughs> okay, first things first, we gotta get Massimo back online. Right? Like, that's priority number one. Who the fuck turned off my boy Massimo?
What? You they cancelled Massimo! What a beat, dude. Cooking with Massimo 84. I don't really know what's going on here. Well, this isn't creepy. Chef Massimo? Yo, what? Listen up. We've got some news. Oh, I thought someone snapped fingers. Tragedy has struck Pleasant Falls. A woman was found murdered in her home. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Powell. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Pout. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location... Please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah has been a victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. Listen up. We've got some news hot off the presses. Tragedy has struck Pleasant Falls. Uh... I don't know, man. Are we CSI? No, we're dead. But we have to find a way to relinquish the spirit. Who is he? My thoughts are dark, black as night. Life is sparse, a total absence of light. When it's all over, come find me there. A broken soul, I belong nowhere. Fourth tune. I feel better today. June 6, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. <laughs> Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. <laughs> she was the beaten. The next door came <clears throat> over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never I thought that it was a, like it. a clue to a puzzle. Me. Like, select the fourth tune Maybe on the radio. All he does Did is not realize it was 4th of June. in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere, and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. <clears throat> Maggie is gone. Whatever that means. Michael is gone. Who's Michael? Gary is gone, too. At least, so, I mean, I'm gone because I'm I'm becoming a monster. But I wonder who Michael is, and I wonder what they mean, M Maggie and Michael is gone. Maybe they left. Become one with the reflection. June 6th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. What? Don't look behind you. <laughs> it's a box! 
Oh, oh! Oh, it's okay. It's just a shadow. What? Oh, stop it. Stop it. Honestly, stop it. Yeah, I thought for a second Alex was behind me when you guys- You kept saying behind you, behind you, not in the game. I had such a shiver, dude. Who the fuck paints this and says, let's put it on the wall? Genuinely, look at this. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But if Alex painted this, or if we had a daughter who painted this, I'd be like, fuck no. This is going in your room if we're having this up anywhere. This is terrifying. Isn't it, doesn't it kind of look like Senator... What's his name? Palpatine? She's a big fan of Senator Palpatine. Isn't it, is, is it Senator Palpatine? Is he a senator? I can't remember. Do it. Do it. Interesting. He is the Senate? <laughs> Dude, I, I, I... Okay, yeah, sure. That's a phone. What, that's all? He just stares at it? I look in the mirror, I see only a husk. Oh my lord! That is... That is... Hello? Hello? one. what is your emergency? Are you in need of medical assistance? Is that me? I need you to stay still. I'm dispatching a patrol car and ambulance to your location. He's still in the house. I can, I can hear him. Help will be there in 30 seconds. Please stay with me. Are you still there? Massimo, I need you! Oh, here we go, the mirror. Okay, let's play with the mirror. Oh. I'm down in the basement. That's what she she said, like, he's always just stuck in the basement all the time. Maybe one day he'll be- I'll be here waiting for him, you know. Let's check it out! Keep out. You'll lose your soul. Insanity. Insanity lies beyond the wall. You'll lose your soul. Keep out. <clears throat> hello, hello? Anybody home? Door was open. Let myself in. Hope that's okay. Gary, you down here? Gary! Oh, Gary! 
Oh, sick. What's going on here? Inner demon or outer demon? <laughs> Gassy? The spells contained within this book are your pathway to power beyond your human ability to imagine. For once, you to learn the intricacies of wielding such power. The book and the rye within will no longer be needed. Your body and soul will become a blah 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 blah. We get it. Me with the dead, one must open their mind to the ghostly fields of the ethereal. The world of the species and the world of flesh are separated by thin veil holding. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Ritual of sacrifice. First, you will need to find a living creature. Any creature will do, but the larger the creature, the more effective the ritual. So I want someone fat. Face south and chant, Atheria mi dedero. Tole anima meam. Repeat these words for the remainder of the ritual. Drain the life from the creature into a receptacle until it is crossed over. Drink every last drop. Rite of scripture. The ability to commune with the dead is unnatural. This rite will re require an individual to display their loyalty and understanding to the ethereal. Massimo is key. This ritual provides loyalty to the dark, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is how we vanquish the spirit. Angry spirits are born in violent death. To set the spirit free, you will need to perform a ritual. For this ritual, you will need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit. Body of the deceased, any parts of the remains. It's like her head or something. Image of the deceased. Clothing. That's why it was scratched out, so you can't... We need to find an image she hasn't scratched out. Clothing worn in the eyes of God. So, like a dress of hers or something. An object of ancestral significance. Okay. Once collected, cleanse the objects with fire and spread the ash over the site where they were slain. Okay, easy peasy. Should not be a problem. Hello? Oh, okay, no, it's fine. Is this her meat? <laughs> I need... Mean, honey? Is this your meat? Hello? The glory hole. the light. <laughs> Yoink! Massimo! I call on you! Am I supposed to do something? <laughs> oh no. no. What? <laughs> Part of the story? When in doubt, look for a journal. These usually have small clues within the pages telling you what you might need to do next. They also give you more of a story. Can I die? A woman was found murdered in her home. Stabbed over ten times. Managed to make a call to 911. Had been victim to domestic abuse. Just me and the monster living in Pedozzi's drink. Maybe it is my fault. Yeah, abandoned I'm here. so much. <laughs> I think it's part of the story.
Yeah, find some of her remains. Alright, so we just have to find a piece of meat. And she's chilling here, so... Ma'am! You'll be down here soon. Start to find your leg or something. Alright, let's see what this is all about. If I were her, where would I have hidden a piece of her? Oh, this room is different. I swear there was a bathroom here before. No? Maybe not. Hide. Okay, we are hiding. <gasps> if I were her... I would hide her body. I would hide my body in the bathroom, then... I would cover up as if it was never there. Life is a storm and we're your husband's friends. Hi Sarah, I'm your only friend. 1st of June, 1990. I asked him today what he does down there. He just stared at me silently with pure hatred. I don't understand how this happened. I don't know him anymore and sometimes he scares me. He spends all of his time in that basement. Next time he does a beer run, I'm going to sneak down there and look for myself. Wait. Did I say I lost a tooth? I lost First a tooth June, during dinner. I asked him to so if you find the tooth... We get a piece of her body. We just need to find her tooth. She lost it during dinner. Don't turn around. Why are you all being so creepy? Why is there like 20 people saying don't turn around? Why, how are you all so synced? Is this music bad? <laughs> Yoink! Hello? No, 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 That okay, dude. Ah! 
I mean, like, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get away from her? I can't run. This is the fastest I can move. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, oh. Her shadow! Did you guys see that? Her shadow was there! When can I stand? Can I stand now? Her shadow was right there, dude. So, let's check the basement. Doesn't seem too bad. The ritual's gone. Just a regular basement. Yoink. However, why are these bloody? Hit her, man. What? Do you like the game so far? I, uh, I hate it. Honey, it's been four years. I need you and I oh, love you more than I can express. Eh? Please, please get some help. They have a clinic and... No, please listen. Don't get angry. No, please. Where? Where is she? Where is she? I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. She's in front of me. She's in front of me. She's in front of me. Oh no. No, but please. Okay. Curiosity, riddle me this. Curiosity killed the cat. Here we go. The cat. The cat. 
I'm not the one with problems. I just need to numb the pain. It's the only thing I can do to not feel. Who are you? Massim- ah! Hitchi I sound. Hitchi I sound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was curiosity killed backwards. Let's keep playing it. <laughs> You've just picked up a camera. To switch to camera mode, press the camera button. Once in camera mode, you can take photos. Photos will often reveal hidden clues and surprises you wouldn't normally see. If you're stuck, try taking a photo. You might find a solution or even a clue. This camera has unlimited film, but if you ever see camera film in the world, this is a reminder that maybe you should try using your camera. What? Is that some sort of like moral lesson? This camera has unlimited film, but if you ever see camera film in the world, maybe they're talking about like it's a clue in the game. I thought that was like a, if you're ever out in the world, Theo, and you see a camera, maybe that's a reminder you should use your camera every once in a while. Closer. No, fuck you, dude. Let's take stuff of- let's see what it says here. Oh. Stop it! Yeah, come on! Da! Da! Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, sick. Okay. I'm not alone, you're definitely not alone. Uh, hey, hello, Stugan. Hello in the cottage. Massimo! Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. You have the ingredients to cook something truly special. Here we have some chicken been marinating overnight with some chicken. This liquid give it a really nice salty flavor. A new episode. I want to tell you how to get this from your but I think you know how I did. And next we want Now, uh, you toss it into the- Hold on, I'm too curious. I'm too curious. I'm too curious. One second. I'm looking up Massimo. No, I'm kidding. I'm just looking up. Why would you- Dude, <laughs> someone really scared me. Someone in chat is like, Tio, subject Tio just tweeted from your house. It's in the polls, isn't it? I saw one before. It's in that stupid fucking poll. You know, the whole time I'm thinking, why are they doing all of these polls? Open this up.
Dude, you guys have been scaring me so much. And at one point, it showed up as top, and I was like, oh, that's funny. And now, as, and as I saw this start spreading, I was like, no, okay, somebody, somebody's fucking with me. Oh my god, dude. Dude, you, this, this one got to me so badly that I didn't even say why I was tabbing out. I needed to check on my phone quietly before I, before I talked. That's why I paused in the middle of the new episode of Massimo. It freaked me the hell out. Dude, that's good. That's good. It's a time for a drinker now. You can leave it at a chicken and head out to the bar. You check on your later when you come back home. That's all from me. And come back next week and I'll show you how to really punish some lamb. Massimo, that's not very nice. A spokesperson from the CADV, or Citizens Against Domestic Violence, had mentioned during a press statement that it's easy to turn a blind eye to domestic violence by explaining away the problem. Often in cases like these, the victim is in love with their assailant. As we all know, love Stockholm Syndrome. Well, actually, no, that's to do with, intervention, but you know, bank robbery and shit. Them to help themselves. Usually, the assailant in these situations will suffer from addiction and sometimes deeper psychological problems. If you or someone you know is involved in a situation like this, please contact our anonymous helpline for guidance. In other news, the annual Orange Plum Festival is in force week. Hey, thank you to the subs and the support that's coming. I'll be reading you guys as soon as I ship my pants, which, uh... It shouldn't be long now. Let's try this out. Damn, that's that's a cool uh, feature. Like Fatal Frame. Who the fuck are you? All you do is drink. You're a monster. Can't live like this anymore. Hello, Miss Ghost. Hello, it's. Uh, I... Please, Ghost. Please? No. Oh, were you there the whole time? Oh, I do not like... It's just a baby. Wow. God, that's creepy. Oh no! Oh no! The fucking butcher! Why? Who? Is that Michael, do you think? Wasn't there a Michael? Greta's gone, or whatever her name was. Michael's gone. Maybe this is Michael. Oh no. They want me to take a picture. Alright, it was good, guys. Okay, leads in there. Wait, what does that say?
Curiosity killed the cats. Have nine lives. Mm, very deep. Okay, we're 1990 now. It doesn't look like things are going well. Wow, this guy loved beer. The tooth! We did it! Hello! I did... I did a good... Oh. she mad because I found her tooth? Nedris Denny, fat and stumpy. Super Skyline, Dingle. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for subbing. <laughs> Novix, Currykins, Jumper, welcome back. You'll start playing Fall Guys because of you. Oh, that's a great game, man. Good to hear it. Hi, hi Thamaz, for the half year. Always been loving your content, always gives me joy. Much love from Yemen. Oh, much love, man. Gamer Freak, 300 bits. Cheers for the bits, man. Um, Thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, 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 hello kitty with the four months. I wanted to wish you a very late happy birthday. I wanted to tune into streams earlier, but I've been very busy lately with school. Continue giving out those positive vibes and stay safe. Much love from Hawaii. Cheers, man. Boven Meester with the 19 months. Crystal Moose with the 14. Oh, Rhea Wilka. Thanks for the resub. Snart Lord, happy three year, man. Don't turn around, Theo. Ah, we're good. Kai's hype with the 15 months, started streaming because of you, and I gotta say I really enjoy it. I also just got my first sub from someone who wasn't my friend. Ah, oh, congrats, dude. That's lovely to hear. Yoink. Keep it up. D. Philip, Samuel the Danish man, Convex Sky, Jessicals, and Super Ninja. Thank you all so much for the resubs. And lastly, Habo. Oh. Thanks for subbing. Oh. Can someone explain why he got scared of Subject Theo tweeting from his house? Are you actually asking that? Take one guess why a guy I do not know tweeting from my house would scare me. <laughs> Yoink! That seems perfectly normal, Theo. Nothing to be scared about. Subject Teo is fucking intriguing, to be honest. It's really intriguing. Did you guys see the latest one? With the, uh... Getting over it style jump. I have no idea where this is going. Is it a story? Are we playing the game right now? Or is there an actual video game coming? I have no idea. I have no idea. Hepatitis C! Good to have ya! Thanks for the 21 months. to domestic violence all you do is drink i need you and i love you more than i can express i don't understand how this happens sometimes he scares me okay what's next we've got the tooth now now what? Tell me. Find a photo of the deceased.
Radio porn. All right. You know, that's how they did it in the old days. Before these screens and magazines. Before magazines, they had radio porn. That's the logic I'm going with. Oh, I can hide here. Good to know. Does insanity cause demons? Do demons cause insanity? Lost, cursed, or both? Oh, here she is! Found her! That's my wife right there, looking beautiful as ever. On to the next, uh, task. Man, she crossed out her face on all of these small ones, but she forgot my favorite photo of her. God, my balls hurt. I think I may have kicked them while uh, getting hurt at some point. These things happen. I'm sitting cross-legged. I'm sitting cross-legged like this. My legs are right up here. And if I get scared, sometimes I kind of kick a little bit and... Um, you know, that can happen. That's, uh, that's being a man for you. Hmm. 1986. We're going back in time. I hear birth. Death. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you drop them. <clears throat> That's cool. Hello? You think it's above? 
<laughs> Yoink! I can just smell the quid right now. I'm swimming in quid as we speak. Oh, those quid's gonna be mine in no time. <laughs> oh, those quids. Hell yeah, crawl Ruby. See you later. With this, I'm heading off to bed. Good luck. Thank you, I think I'll need it. Thank you for the one... hundred dollars. You continue to impress me, amaze me. Treat me. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. Death. No. Thank you. She bass? Did you hear that? Thank you, Carl Ruby. Have a have a good night's sleep. Should I should I get up? Hello? Swear this wasn't- oh no, it was open before. Someone walking out there. If they come in here, I'm dead. I don't know, Chad. I don't know what to do. I, I, I really don't know what to do. No, I already read the text on the wall. It didn't really make much sense. This is a clue. The curtain being like this, it's a clue. Nothing. Oh. 
pause, it tells you the objective. Yeah, just just find a photo of Sarah. If you're stuck, Sarah's journal can sometimes help. Oh, fuck off, dude. Who the fuck are you? All you do is drink. You're a monster. Can't live like this anymore. Fuck it, let's go. I haven't been up here, just realized. Is that her? What is that? No, no, it's not her. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, no. Well, she's camping. <laughs> Camper. Oh. Oh, no. Well, what do I do now? Take a picture of her feet? Not gonna lie, I already tried. Alright. Death awaits. Hello, dearest. What? glitched oh dear she lost me she lost me but I saw her go she's on my right I know she's there that's it she leaves okay She left. Okay. Now, how the hell are we gonna get past her? We have to get upstairs. <laughs> Yoink! Okay. Arrow? CAMPER! YOU'RE A CAMPER! <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, here we go. Here we go.
I thought she would go for the music and turn it off. What the fuck? Wait, what? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Hell! Oh no. Oh no! For real, how didn't my plan with the music work? <laughs> how, did, how didn't my plan with the music work? Yeah, yeah. Oh god, I'm down here again. Right, I'm just gonna speedrun it. Fuck this. I thought I had her, and then she fucking locks me in there? It's gonna go fast. He's gone, but I still hear him. He's trying to talk, but it's faded, muted, jumbled. What does it mean? He's gone. There we go. That's how easy that was. She was just- I couldn't get past her through the stairs. What? Alright, we got half of her. You, I was sleeping. He was out with Maggie getting ice cream or, or something. I, I don't know. I was asleep. Look, my baby boy just died. Oh. And I don't know how. What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? I didn't kill my son. Yes, I had postnatal depression, but I'm telling you, I woke to a noise and I had a strange feeling something was wrong. You think that's Butcher? I to his room and I found the butcher. His collapsed. He was his huge. Body. It was blue on the bush. My baby boy. The voice acting is pretty good. Usually in these kind of games.
Yeah, that 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 Seinfeld reference in the Steam. An investigation has begun into the tragic death of a six-month-old baby boy. The father was out with their six-year-old daughter buying groceries. When they returned home, they found the mother of the child holding the infant in her arms. Authorities have taken the mother dead. in for questioning, but she has since been released. A spokesperson for Pleasant Falls PD told us that the death has been ruled accidental. However, the investigation is ongoing. It's believed that faulty nursery equipment may have failed causing this tragedy. Inficare has issued a full recall on all their bassinets in accordance with the ongoing investigation. Our best wishes and condolences go out to the family involved in this tragedy. If you see her and start teabagging fast, she leaves you. It's a funny glitch I figured out randomly. I'm totally trying this. This is creepy. We recently saw several blah 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 lurking in the woods. The locals have reported this man uh, as trustworthy. Uh, the locals who have reported uh, are, are trusty and upstanding citizens. The reason this comes up is because each report places him at around 12 feet tall with glowing red eyes and no face. And it says, the strange thing with these reports isn't the odd nature of the report, but the condition of the site where he was spotted. After investigating each site, the foliage in the area has been frozen solid. Let's remember that. Okay, I'm ready to teabag, dude. Investigation has begun into the tragic death of a six-month-old baby boy. The father was out with their six-year-old daughter buying groceries. When they returned home, they found the mother of the child holding the infant you know, in her arms. Authorities have taken the mother in sure. for questioning, but she has since been released. A spokesperson the game is a little bit... Told us it's taken a lot from However, the a lot of other games. Since of hard, but it's quite well made. It surprised me. The voice acting is really good. The general idea of it is, is well made for what it is. Come on then! It's, it's, yeah, you know what I mean, guys? Like, sure, there is a couple of things that are a little like, oh, this is maybe a little bit scuffed. But, like, in general, I think the game's quite well done. The details they've thrown in here and there. You can tell they've spent their time on it. Um, it's not a half, it's not like a quickly made game. It's not like half-assed. child holding the infant in her arms. Authorities have taken the mother in for questioning, but she has since been released. Oh, here we go. Carrie Miles. I don't know, can't get into it. Hmm. Probably because it's very, like, there's a lot of games that are made like this. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know. Was it a key card? Yeah. I thought it was just an ID. What was that?
Oh, here we go. Got another piece. Oh. You see, that was well done. I like that. That was cool. Let's try teabagging. I cannot see a thing. Maybe, maybe it was stupid to run to her. Let me try just standing still and doing it. Let me try just, let me try just standing still. He said, he didn't say run to her. <laughs> he, did, he, he never said I have to run up to her. <laughs> there is a chance he's lying, but I would like to, I'd like to try it. Hold on. How to break immersion, yeah. Here we go. I come in peace. Is she even there? How did it start last time? I literally just... Went in here. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we don't get to see her. Love mannequins, dude. The tea bagging worked. Yeah. Oh, that says something. Find the photo pieces. Wait, so who's writing these messages? He's gone, but I still hear him. He's trying to talk, but it's faded, muted, jumbled. What does it mean? 
Uh, I don't know, man. What does it mean? Do you think it's- Yeah, the ghost is teabagging back? No! <laughs> She's counter teabagging. No, 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 no. What the? The arrow takes me up. Just fucking bitch slaps me. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm missing something, guys. I'm missing something. I only need, like, another piece of the photo. And the arrow leads me up. Unless it's an old arrow. Maybe that's from before. Why would that still be around, though? I'm dead. What? This is only the beginning. <laughs> I'm dead, by the way. <laughs> In case you hadn't figured that out. chest in the kids' bedroom, but that's where I wake up. That's just that stuff. Hmm, I don't know. Oh! Chat, I'm a little bit stuck. Last bedroom had the blood in the pick. Hmm. Did it? thing is that the arrow on the stairway is pointed up. I'll check once more here and make sure I didn't miss anything. But perhaps... I have to go downstairs. I don't know, is it an old arrow maybe? We'll look downstairs. Radio porn again.
Fucking arrows. But that that's an arrow from before, to be honest. That one I remember being there before. general noise or is it her you don't think this is a good hiding spot guys come on do you think she's behind me thanks blade let's have a look gonna hide again. Let's just wait a little longer. <laughs> you're, you're camping. You're actually camping. Did it work? I swear it was working. I swear it was working for a while there. I've found the way. Gotcha! I don't recall correctly, but look at the picture downstairs. Zoom on it shows something in some part of the game that works. In the game. What? Zoom on the photos? I don't know, to be honest. Should I go down to the basement?
Is that an- I think that's an old arrow. I don't think that's a new arrow. Because there was an arrow here before, and it's still here. Oh. I'm thinking it's the basement. Oh, dude, I'm stuck. Has any- does anyone actually know the answer? I'd love to just get a complete just go here right now. In front of the radio downstairs. Oh yeah, you're talking about the photo thing. Didn't I already zoom in on that photo? Let's try it. It is where the moaning was going on. Sarah and Johnny or something. We're sorry for your loss. Our hearts are with you during these dark times. Love all of us. Love all of us at Tall Pines Gallery. <sighs> Mary and Maggie. Keep the sympathies. If you need anything, please know we're here for you. Love, the Smiths. I'm sure it's something in here, seeing as that guy appeared. Can we not do this whole thing again? Can we just... I don't know, man. I really don't know. Oh yeah, I haven't been in here. Here we go. God, I forgot about this room. It's my bad. Yeah, what, what are you gonna do to me? Is this real? Probably not. sweat really it's you know this game i would say this game is is just really well done the only thing that i think is a reason why it will not be like known at all or like you know as a great you know it's it's an all right horror game i think it's just the concept has already been done very many times you know for an indie game, I think this is really well done, you know, like it's, it's a good horror game, it's just been done a lot. It's like being in a house and having a woman following you. What kind of god would kill an innocent baby? How's it compared to Visage for you, scare-wise? Uh, it's not as scary. Visage is really good at... Visage has really good, um, scares, of course, and stuff, but, but... But what it does really well is keep the...
it does really well uh, well keeping the uh, feeling scary. What's it called? What am I? There's a word I'm looking for. Slash is good for the build up. Yeah, the build up, but also just the overall tension atmosphere. Exactly. Good word, panics. Um, whereas this, you know, and it does well in coming with variety in how you get scared. Uh, which this one doesn't do as much, but it's, it's still a, a good horror game. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's bad just because the Sage is better. Yeah, suspense, tension. You're making me look at all the pictures now. It does that really well, Visage. And then on top of it, it's got jump scares that fucks you up. I need some sort of... Uh, they speculated it's a wedding dress. Or could it be the black dress she wore for her son's uh, funeral? That would also be in the eyes of God. The objective is clothing worn in the eyes of God. And it says, her wedding dress maybe? I'm thinking it's going to be, because it says that, it's not going to be. It says, like a wedding dress? So I'm thinking maybe a black dress that she wore at the funeral. January 11th, 1986. We just got back from the hospital with the latest addition to our family. We're going backwards. Little Michael. Never mind that. And he's perfect. It wouldn't be that. Feeling a little strange though, almost depressed. I feel so guilty for feeling this way when it should be a time for celebration. Gary's been great, but he doesn't understand how I'm feeling. I tried to talk to him about it, but he just doesn't get it. With my second child, which I didn't have happy. it with the first. My God, this is confusing. I hope it passes. I know Gary will support me through this. I'm sure it's going to be fine. The nurse just said that I keep a journal. I'm having postnatal depression get me my second bubble. child when I didn't have it with Thoughts. my first. Thanks. She's depressed. Let's go down and party. Yeah, good voice acting. Oh. Again, is this real? Good, good, good. One, two. Step one, downstairs. Step two, upstairs. Oh my, you just keep dying. Over and over and over. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Who the fuck is this guy? Be stunned by a sudden burst of light. But only if they don't see it. Is this supposed to be the developer giving me a tip? Through the switch. Bright light. She can't stand it. Little Michael. I'm still not used to the name, but it's starting to grow on me. Just like you. He's got your eyes. I thought I took care of it. <laughs> I scared her off with my light.
May I just say I love house tea. I love that you can play games like this late now. So much fun. Yeah, it's almost 1 a.m. It's 1230. 30 past midnight, and I can just... Ew! You know? Doesn't matter. It's all right. It's lovely. Destroy my cheeks. Thousand bits. Greetings from Canada. Tio, how is COVID going for you? Uh, it's all right. It's all right. How's COVID going for, for Canada? I hear you guys closed your borders to America. Um, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Love the name. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know. Sweden's... Uh, slowing down slowly but surely in terms of um, cases and whatnot but it's still a thing like in many countries um hyper bleach dark mar nico amvs thank you guys very much for subbing tier three sub coming in from monty sar as well thank you very much appreciate that man thank you guys and welcome hokarn 13 months pino with a nine i finished the last of us two today oh hell yeah hope you liked it CG Moose, Linga TV, Kit Kat Kobix, King in the North, Kymetic, Ethaladan, Panzer BR, and Crow Dead Deer. Crow Crowded Deer. <laughs> Thanks for the resubs. You know, it's interesting regarding a mask because it's a really big thing about wearing masks in the US and people are, a lot of people are like, I'm not gonna, you know, and they're saying they're not gonna wear a mask because it's a political statement and whatnot. Um, and I'm not gonna get into that, but it's interesting because in Sweden, masks aren't a thing. Um, it seems to be country to country what the consensus is, but in Sweden, our, like, uh, what's his, what's his name, like, my, our state epidemiologist guy even says that he doesn't think that it's um, a viable thing. Like, it's not what, what it, he, he doesn't agree with it. And he, I have a lot of respect for a lot that he's said. And that surprises me, you know. Um, I'm not going to go into his opinion about it and stuff. You could look it up if you want. But uh, it's actually, and and the our uh, health authorities don't uh, even they uh, they don't really like enforce it at all. It's really interesting comparing countries and how they treat the whole mask thing. <clears throat> Anyway, back to the scary game. Twenty third March, nineteen eighty five. He really surprised me this weekend. He blindfolded me and whisked me off in the car. When he took the blindfold off, I saw this horrible little rundown cabin in the woods. He'd purchased this place from an estate sale of a deceased hunter or something. He wants to fix it up so we'll have our own little romantic getaway. Maggie's staying with the neighbors for the weekend, so I guess I'll make the most of it. Interesting. Uh, when we were at the police station, I read, quickly read through a page-long report, uh, about a cabin in the woods and someone, uh, like, getting hit by something and waking up without his rifle and stuff, being lost in the, in the woods. I didn't really fully read through it, so. Uh, but something about this has been referenced. So, somebody said, now if you teabag on the hatch, she appears. Please try it for content. <laughs> I don't know about this. 24th March, 1985. He's like a changed man out here. At first I wasn't sure this place is creepy, but last night was simply amazing. Maybe this was a great idea. It just needs a woman's touch. Did you hear 
remember that? Dad's a drunk. He drank and drank. The answer lies below. The art style is so different in here. It's actually really cool. You better hurry. She's here. Oh, okay. I I mean like <laughs> Hey uh Watsy, thanks for subbing, dude. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. I didn't have any time. Yoink. What is that? Hun Hunter's Bounty. Hunter's Bounty. Thanks for subbing. Enjoy your stay. Nah. Nah. How the fuck did I... Okay, I went down here. Fuck off. March 1985. I don't ever want to come back. Last night there were all kinds of strange noises. I could hear whispering. I think maybe some of the locals don't want us here. I heard something in the basement and had to investigate. Oh my god. It's the slaughterhouse down there with some really weird shit going on. I appreciate taxidermy as an art form, but this looked like more than that. There's only one ritual left, and finally I was able to make out one of the voices. They said the cost would be your firstborn son. It'd be a cold day in hell before I set foot in here again. This is how those horror movies start. I'm sitting in this basement alone, hearing voices and performing rituals from a book. None of this sounds normal, yet I'm compelled to continue. I've lost both my mind and my own self. Now that I'm hearing ramblings about my unborn child, I can see only one solution. Cancer is cut out, and so must my poisoned mind be banished from this world. If you happen to read this letter, do not read from this book. Leave now. Cornelius Coomberdale. Cornelius... Cornelius Coomberdale. Cornelius Coomberdale. Dead. Cornelius Coomberdevil. Is it gonna be the 12 foot man without a face? Oh my God! So they... He sacrificed Michael. I'm guessing it was him. 
for uh Chat do I the phone up here? Wait, no, the phone's downstairs, isn't it? Should I go to the phone? Oh... I speed ran. It's ringing because I never picked it up, so it's still ringing. So I guess... Alright, that's gonna be ringing. Hey, we got the dress! It's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. Get out of here, you. Hello, my dear. Just checking out the wedding dress from the most beautiful day of our lives. What's wrong? No, no. You'll still you'll still fit into it. What? <laughs> Marriage role play. Marriage simulator. Slaughterhouse down there was some really weird shit going on. Just needs a woman's touch. Cold day to change the man out there. I don't remember what's next. There's only one thing left, isn't there? Aren't we actually just doing the ritual now? Never get married. Oh yeah, here's the last one. Find an object of an ancestral sentimentality. Yo. Oh. I know what this has to do with everything. Did she get put in a psycho place after the kid died? Did she go crazy for a while maybe? Asylum, thank you. Is he playing as? Uh, we think we're playing as the. Wait, what? Playing as a husband. The dad, even. Uh, the husband died. At the start of the game. Weird, we, we, we came home and then ended up like finding she was dead and we drive away. And then we crashed and died. And now we're kind of investigating it. But it's not really clear who we are. I, I, we think we're him. It hasn't really given us any other clue. Hmm. 
There's a whole story behind it. The, the start of the game, we're driving as him past a crashed car. And then later, we're the one who crashed that car and die. So, um, yeah. The suspicion is that we killed her, but then, but we've, yeah, I'm not so sure. I mean, we were al an alcoholic. And went crazy, apparently. Any tips? Phone in the corner of the wheelchair room? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Yoink! Weird window. Huh? In here? I got stuck here for a long time. <laughs> and the answer made me hate myself. Push the doors. Dude, I would have been stuck here so long if you didn't say that. Holy shit. Does that mean I can push that one? Oh my god, dude. I... I don't even blame you. Wow, you can't... Don't even blame you for being stuck on this. That's incredible. Oh god. Gary! Wait! Gary? Lobotomy, symptoms, alcoholism. This is the husband. Frontal lobotomy has been performed. Patient is yet to regain consciousness. However, the shape of the uranium shows little improvement. Gary, my man! You alright? What did I say? Cranium. <laughs> Cranium. You know, as I said uranium, I thought, that's not right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But I couldn't remember what the actual word was, so just went with it. <laughs> He's radioactive. <laughs> Gary again. Delusional. Action. Saturation. Patient believes he can commune with the dead. We will shatter his mind. Via hismal? hismal and auditory, uh, visual and auditory stimulation. Only once the mind is fully broken can we put it back together again. Saturation every day until the patient is nespanacino. I don't know what that says. Neopanane. What does that say, chat? You tell me. Responsive. Very good. We did it together. Shatter his mind? That sounds a little intense. So since Gary's there, then who are you playing as? Gary. Ah! Gary. I think that we're dead and we're exploring what went down because we went crazy. Yeah, what doctor says, oh yeah, this is a classic case of delusional mind, like, let's, let's shatter his mind. Oh, maybe it's this doctor. Maybe, hear me out, maybe this is me getting my mind shattered. Maybe that's what we're doing right now, right this second. Maybe I've gone crazy. Mr. Body? Okay, I'll go back. Come on. That's one very proud tiger. Dr. Minder? Hmm.
Gary. Multiple personalities, lobotomy. Patient has multiple personalities of a highly aggressive nature. Removal of the amygdala gadala to reduce violent tendencies is the fastest way to solve this issue. Patient non-responsive since procedure. Interesting. Very interesting. It's a vent there. They cut a piece from his brain away? Oh, wait. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's what lobotomy is. Basically. They fuck with the front of your brain here. Some part of it. Um, to make you, to fix you if you're too wild and shit. Um, they basically just fuck with, like, they really fuck with this part of the brain here. And then um, stitch you back, back together. Yeah, they remove the frontal lobe. Thank you. And then, uh, and then you're basically a vegetable. You, you're you're just walking around like, like, and they fixed you, you know, because maybe you had ADHD or maybe maybe you were just too wild. Maybe you were a woman and you kept sleeping with guys, and your rich rich father was just like, hey, we'll take care of this. It's a simple procedure. Like maybe you maybe you cheated on your husband, and it's like a, you know, and then they give you a lobotomy. Honestly, I don't know exactly what they gave lobotomies for, but it was crazy what that the fact that they even did it in the first place. It, it, I, I don't know if that's accurate, to be honest. But uh, they do it. Um, they do it, especially to like um, as punishment. <laughs> Yoink! Are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, JFK's sister was lobotomized exactly because she was. Uh, ooh. She was a bit too wild, um, wasn't she? I believe, uh, mainly to women who were misbehaving. Was I right with that then? I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I, I've heard things, but I don't know what's absolutely accurate. But yeah, that's what lobotomy is. You know, that's what you. It was fucked up. It went on for way too long. They would do seriously fucked up shit to people with minor disorders or people that were out of societal norms. Yeah, stuff they didn't understand, basically, you know? They'd just be like, oh, fuck it. Lobotomy. Let's go down here. Actually, you know what I want to do first? Just want to see if I could open this door over here. I've read about uh, JFK's sister before. It's really sad, man, when you read about it. Grandma worked in an asylum, asylum, and to help people that have gone delusional, they have to shut down the activation of the brain in certain areas by activating others like sound and visual stimulation. So basically, they are just distracting the brain, not shattering. Well, are you, what are you talking about right now? You're not talking about lobotomy. In her early young adult years, Kennedy experienced seizures and violent mood swings. In response to these... Issues. Kennedy's father arranged a prefrontal lobotomy for Kennedy in 1941 when she was 23 years of age. The procedure left Kennedy permanently incap incapacitated and rendering her unable to speak intelligibly. I've read about it before. It's so fucking sad, honestly. It's really sad. Completely ruined her. This is in the 40s, you know? It's not even that, uh... Long ago, considering how fucking insane it is. You seen the movie Shutter Island? Yeah, I have. Great movie. Oh! Party.
I think I was supposed to hide. I thought... <laughs> I thought it was like a video. You know, like I thought it was like a cutscene. Like, let's see what he does. Let's hide. This is the first scene in Evil Within. Great start to the game. a picture of him would do something. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's take it much slower. Let's take it much slower. Run? You can't. You just walk. Should I try running? Alright, dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. And I think I need to look at where I'm... Okay, so there's this guy as well, apparently. I think I need to wait. I need to look. I think, I think I'm crunching on something below me. Let me look down. There's something I'm walking on. It sounded really crunchy. You walk up to... Where else am I supposed to fucking run? There was a vent. There was a vent. <laughs> Yoink. Did he throw? Oh, I thought he threw it. Button? Oh no, was there a button? You should have trapped him. Ah! Oh. I have to trap him. Why am I standing there while he's flexing with his machete skills? My friend! 
Oh, he's trying to break it open. What do you think this button does? Does it kill him? Am I killing him somehow? He broke out. I think I'm just turning on the power. I'm back home. All that training paid off, it seems, as she came first in the annual try. And you know who you are. Or do you? Some believe this is their life flashing before their eyes. There's really a moment of clarity, a clear meaning, an understanding that every action you take. Will bring you closer to your judgment. So, do you understand the extent of your actions? The tormentor can become the tormented. Yo, what is the that shadow? Can the receiver. See that? I only got six months. I'm lucky. This reality isn't real. It's only a reflection of you. We'll be back after these messages. Mom, Mom was... I'm so sorry for everything that's happened to you. I can't do this anymore. Do you know how many times I hid under my bed listening to Dad hurting you? I hate you for not taking Mom me away from here years ago. I'm running away with my boyfriend. I won't be coming back. I'd be safer living on the streets than I am here, and that's not a way for me to live. I'm old enough now to understand that none of this is normal. Maybe we'll see each other again someday, but I never want to see him again. Get help, Mom. I do love you. Love always, Maggie. So, she left. She moved out. Understandably so. This is in 1996. Maybe we'll see each other we again. We died soon. in 1999. But I never want to see him again. Get help, Mom. I do love you. Love always, Maggie. Fuck, dude. Hannah's Asylum, West Wing Dorms, Shock Therapy. You are here. Okay, let's go to Shock Therapy. That's what's fun. Furthest down on the left. Oh, but we gotta check these out, right? The work makes sense throughout through the lens of a bottle in here. Not me. Clarity is insanity. <laughs> it didn't take a picture. <laughs> it didn't take any picture. Dude. Uh, Ashenix, thanks for the 11 months, man. Hunter's Bounty, he came in with 500 bits earlier. Thank you very much for that, man. Grenade Chef, Ash4827, and KTS Gaming, thank you guys for the resubs. Spammer P, thanks for the one year as well. 10 on YouTube, goddamn. 
Much love, much love. All right, let's try this again. We're in the end game now, I feel. We just have to find this one piece and then ritual time. Okay, we can hide here. This is not opening. So, we're just gonna do this. <laughs> Why didn't it work this time, dude? <laughs> hey, J Cod! Five gifted subs! Thank you, dude. Welcome to the five new subs. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, J Cod, for that. Can't go to bed before the grandpa does, but I'm really tired. <gasps> Ranox, no. Let's take a nap, dude. Oh yeah, she has to she has to be surprised by it, doesn't she? There's a door there. I can't just do it from a front. How am I supposed to get all the way down there if if she's just fucking in this tiny ass corridor? Let me check the map. There might be a way to get through the rooms, perhaps, on the map. Come on, man! Stun, then run past her? Yeah, I think that's the way to do it here. Almost at 5k again? Hell yeah, dude! Oh, he's gonna give me a tip, isn't he? Through the switch, bright light. She can't stand. Don't tell me how to play the game! <laughs> hey, 10 gifted subs from Jaycott! Much love! Alright, the game's told me how to play the game. out of the picture. Ah, oh, let's go. Now, where to go? Twelfth of April, nineteen ninety six. I hadn't spoken to him in what seemed like an eternity. So I was shocked when he asked me to come back to the cabin. I assumed he wanted to fix a marriage. Maybe try to move past everything and start over. 
Last time we were at the cabin, it was so romantic. Take the photo of the last one. And I vowed never to go back, but... If Close the door, married, so we're good. I'll try anything to win this nightmare. Once we got there, he just started babbling about this being the place of conception and rummaging through that fucked up basement. I don't know if I should be indulging him or getting help. I want him to get help, but I'm scared of how he react. What? Oh! Okay, uh, triangle eye, wine. Weird thing. 3D. Triangle eye, wine. Weird thing. 3D. to the name, but he's starting to grow on me. Perfect. And he looks just like you. He's got your eyes. Probably I missed words here. Sure, I don't see any. Conception plus corruption.
what, you murdered her? Yeah, we saw that in the first scene. When we, <laughs> when, um, when we died. It's like the, we saw it after like, the first 20 minutes. Uh, right after that we drove off and crashed the car. Rat. Still need that. Uh, you need to find something that belonged to your wife's family. Maybe some jewelry. Yeah. Up in the bedroom, the uh, ring. We've seen it there. Didn't it say one and two here before? Well, that's gone. What? Thanks, Nebula. Didn't know that. I shall try it. <laughs> Yoink! Ah, well, usually it sucks me in. What was the code? Does anyone remember it? Five, oh, six, oh, ten, hold on. Ten left, fifty right, five left. Dude, Calendris, you still had it, please. Uh, ten left, fifty right. Wait, that's, yeah, okay, hold on. Ten left. Fifty right. I think I messed it up. Hey, got it! A dodge. Hello. I think this is supposed to happen. Oh, she's very mad. She's very mad. Hey, big thank you again to Jacob for all those gifted subs earlier. Thank you so much, man. You're a beast. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to die by it. Wait, what? Gary's gone totally insane. Oh, no, 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 it's part of it. She hates me for not standing up to him. She's right. But now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. And I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. I don't know who we are, man. Time to do the ritual. We're done. I think I think we're Gary. Maybe burn the items. It's time. Are we Gary after everything went down? And now we're learning about what we did. So, burn the items. Probably in the fireplace, right? I mean, we started the game as Gary, so it'd be weirder for someone else all of a sudden. Oh, really, man?
<laughs> Yoink! The search grid has begun over the crash site, but no survivors have been. So here he stands. At the gate. Does he understand the extent of his crimes against his eternal soul? He can't set things right. It's over. He can ensure eternity is fitting for those he affected. I'm looking out here myself. Well, it's time to end it. Move on to the best part. That concludes our broadcast today. Best part. Ooh, matches, or not a matches. Um, what's, what's it even called? A lighter. What? It doesn't work. All right, guys, it doesn't work. What's that though? Oh, I glitched it. Okay. Do you think I have to refill the lighter? Or do you think I have to find some other way of burning? Candles light the way. outside the window where what did I miss a girl yo what happened in here wait what what is happening this is so impressive Once possessed, there are areas of the house where the ghost can kill you from within. These areas can be identified. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Oh! Oh! I get possessed? Dude. Alright, I like it. I meant to say ears. <laughs> but... Okay. Yeah, could it be multiple personalities? It's said in the thing that I have many personalities as well. Someone said I missed writing on the island. The search grid has begun over the crash site, but no survivors have been. Alright, do your thing. Possess me. Oh, 
una sacrificium lit cominarle arturi apud mortem. He's gone, but I still hear him. He's trying to talk, but it's faded, muted, jumbled. What does it mean? You know Latin? No. I took some Latin. Well, not took, actually. No, I um, I learned some Latin. My English teacher was very good at teaching us Latin and Greek roots. And we, we learned a lot about that because it's such a big part of the English language. All right, is it doing its thing? No? She gonna take over? It was a very believable Latin accent. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Are English lessons mandatory in Sweden? Yeah. I went into I went to an international school though, so I all of my classes were English other than the Swedish class. Ah, here we go. Oh. My friend told me the key is through the wall. I questioned his, th this logic until I gained his memories. Oh, wow. Okay. Am I possessed yet? Hello? What? What? How did... Uh, what? Candle? Dude, I'm lost. Candle on the floor. Candle. What's next? New objective, return to the scene of the crime. Okay, now I'm possessed. Yoink. Return to the scene of the crime. It was uh, upstairs. Watch out. There should be s signs if I'll kill myself. So let's not go close to that. Okay. No, I mean like I... What? All right, let's try again. I I even tried to stay away from it, man. How, how do you think I need to... Did I stay there too long? Really? Oh my god. Teabag! Maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm supposed to not look at it. Okay, here we go. I don't even know how I made that candle appear. A search grid has begun over the crash site. I 
guess I could go around. I could go through here, right? Yeah, I could go through here. Um, let's just get this thing up here. I don't even know what I did. How do I, how do I get everything to- here we go. Okay, good. Candle? No? I have to say this <laughs> Latin thing again. Um, maybe it's random every time. I don't know how I made it up here. Dude, the lighter's not even here this time. It's so random. Ah, uh, that makes me think that the whole thing's random. Look at that, now the chains are gone. Dude, I don't know. I don't know how I made it up here. <laughs> Yoink! Radio on? What the fuck? This was not here before. This is a random arm? It's, it, it, they make it look really smooth, the transitions. It's, it's well done. Yeah, I really, I think it's random. I don't think it's gonna be there this time. I think I got lucky. I'm just impressed. Dude, is she just like right next to me while I'm doing this? I hear something. Can she possess me before I've even burned the stuff? She did it that first time. You could get possessed if you take too long. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, how... Alright, let me get possessed. I guess we'll do this part first. But wait a minute. No, I still have to find the candle. I still have to find the candle, dude. There's no new task. How do I make this candle appear? Why did it appear that time? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I went tight, close to the knife. I was just looking out for tentacles, that's my bad. <laughs> I knew that knife is there as well. Fuck, this is kind of frustrating. I don't know, I don't know what makes a candle appear. It's not being very clear. It was just there on one of them. You know what, if it doesn't appear downstairs in the first couple minutes, I'm gonna go upstairs again and see if I find it. Perhaps it's completely randomized. The search grid has begun over the crash site. The fuck is this? First time we've seen this. Yeah, I mean, this is randomized, so let's do this, see if that helps. Oh! Oh, it's completely randomized what it'll be. Okay. Oh, okay. That we got lucky. Turn the items. It's done. Now. Possess me. Where's it? Oh, dude, I bet you this... Return to the scene of the crime. Wasn't it up here? I swear it was up here. It's actually pretty good, Sammy. Surprisingly good quality. I swear it was down here, right? Yep. Spread ashes. Oh, yes! Guess we don't have to be possessed. Say you deserve worse. Leave this place. Okay, this is um, how it was when we first came to the house. Oh, for old time's sake, right? Massimo. Massimo, my boy. Oh, it's a new one. Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. It feels like an eternity, but here we are. We're almost there, but this will be the last episode you see of my show. 25, 15, 21. Four, nine, four, twenty, eight, nine, nineteen. That's the simple part. What follows? Oh, what delights I have to show you. Slice into nicer, thinner slips. This is a real treat. Twenty-five. Sorry 15. to be the one to tell you this, kid, but karma is a bitch. And what follows is your torrent. And now for the side dish. This really represents something you had and threw away. Listen guys, I think we're still crazy. And here we are. 
a meal fit only for you. That's it from me to you, coming live and uncut from hell. This is Massimo signing off. I'll see you real soon. I got you a present behind the Black Veil 7. Just don't expect me to watch it with you. I know you love his horror stuff, but it gives me nightmares. Ghosts? Yuck. Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. It feels like an eternity, but here we are. We're almost there, but this will be the last episode you see of my show. 25, 15, 21, 4, 9, 4, 20, 8, 9, 19. That's the simple 25, 15, 21, 4, 9, 4, 28, 9, 19. Phone number? No. The only other thing it could be is the code thing. Or they're just fucking with us. I think they're just fucking with us. I can't think of any other place I could put that in. Give it a go. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't give you the chance. Basement? No. No. Only one left is the car. Yeah, we arrived through the back door, so we'll go there, go to the car. This is nostalgic almost, yeah. Been a long ride, and it's finally time. Oh, our car's gone. Oh? Whoa. Yeah, we were in those windows last time. I'm not the one with problems. I just need to numb the pain. Check the pain. I feel like he's mad huh? No, this none of these are called twenty-five.
2078469. You finally arrived. I overestimated your comprehension skills. No matter, you finally get it. If you take your place, someone will be with you and we can begin that. Apparently, the numbers that Massimo gave, somebody checked them on the alphabet, and it, it, it reads out, you did this? Are there enough letters for that? Are you sure? Are there enough numbers? You did this. Yeah. You did this. Damn, some young guy. Well done. That's cool. Your sacrifice was legendary. Lawrence the next Flash Holy. Elden Hairs. James Cabell. Yeah, they could be Kickstarters. That's a cool idea. We're in hell. Oh, Kylie Bose, well done to you. Wonder if there's a good ending. You know, I thought about that. You know, when I yeah, did you see there was a neighbor? I don't remember a neighbor voice actor. Um, when I went into the garage at the end and went downstairs. I wonder if I could have just left. You know, the challenge, the, the, the mission was leave that, get out of this place. And it's, and I went down through the, to the basement and went underground. <laughs> Your work here is done, it is time to move on. Yeah, leave this place. There are four endings. This is the good ending. Oh, really? Go to YouTube? Yeah, we should. Let me just see what happens there. the game. Watch the TV show once you've set the ghost free. Ah, oh, take a photo in the police lineup room. I missed that. Take four ca uh, photos capturing the ghost hiding. Find every memory. Someone mentioned a sequel. Will you play something? What? Isn't this game quite recent? Oh, I tabbed out. Good night, Arne. Thanks for watching, man.
bonus. Mike. In a haze of dreams and visions comes a riddle with numbers hidden. Find the idiom served in platter. This is key to avoid disaster. The riddle was written on the back of each of these pieces. We know Sarah had succumbed to addiction at this stage in her life and it shows in the, these haunting works. Sarah shares her opinions on her family, loved ones and herself. Dude, is this based on a true story? Somebody mentioned it earlier in the stream and then someone was like, no. Someone said yes and someone said no. It's not, right? This is all just made up. Surely not. It could be that that characters are real and I would have said based on a true story somewhere. That's true. No, yeah, I think he just yeah, it's all it's all made up. Dude, this is so cool for a game to have a museum showing extra stuff. Rather than just like a menu. Ending. 
Oh, and this one, she's there. That's cool. Bernie is based on true events, but overall it's fiction. Okay. That was, uh... No, I, I don't think it would have made sense to have her there. It's good he didn't do that. That was cool. That was, that was a cool game. That was a really cool game.